Listen, Chris, and those cinnamon, cinnamon rolls are amazing, so make sure you save me a little sliver. And if you do that, I'll save you a little bit of this low country broil because I am here at Ann Springs Close Greenway ahead of the fifth annual Boil and Brew, and I'm happy to be joined by Clint Boy of Saltwater Markets as well as Travis Dolson of a more artist uh, brewery. And, and we're here for a great event because this weekend on Saturday is the fifth annual Low Country boil and i gotta start with you clint uh everybody has a different way of doing a low country boil they, they put a little little twist of their own if you will uh traditionally when people come out this uh coming saturday what are they going to see when they see all of this deliciousness put together so for me i mean low country boil is quintessential carolina and there are a ton of ways to do it, but these shrimp are harvested right down the street from where, like, Frogmore Stew was coined as a term. These are out of Village Creek, right down from Fripp in Beaufort, South Carolina. It's always corn, potato, lemon, onion, sausage, and, of course, the world's best shrimp. Uh, but when and how you season it, how you cook it, uh, can vary from, from place to place. They're going to get a basket with a ton of great fr- uh, food in it. It's all going to be cooked to order, shrimp at the last moment corn perfectly cooked potatoes uh, will be soaking up that sauce so- that great andouille sausage seasoning and then finished in old bay and lemon i mean you're speaking my language right here now a lot of people use water but then some people also use beer is there a difference between uh using a little bit of both yeah. or maybe a mixture i think you could use either traditionally as water for me cook it perfect water finish it great beer <laughs> and if we're talking about great beer we have to talk about a more artist brewing uh this right here tell me uh what this beer is uh that i have in my hand so this right here is our fort milsner it's our number one selling german pilsner um it's out in the market um all throughout york county in south carolina now what makes a good beer to pair with a traditional low country boil you know, usually it's a light, light, light lager or pilsner, um, but what we've done here over the past five years is we've kind of expanded it to a, a beer festival event also. There's a VIP area with some seasonal releases. We'll have our Venti Cold Brew, which is a pumpkin spice beer. Um, we're bringing our Mars in, which is our Oktoberfest-style lager. Um, so, yeah, it's just a, usually it's a light beer, but you'll have a wide variety here this year. Now, you guys have been a partner here with the Low Country Boil from the beginning. Uh, how important is it uh, for you, a local brewery here in Fort Mill, to partner with ASC Greenway for such a great event. Uh, I love it. I grew up in this town. It's fun to be a part of it, to have 2,100 acres that's preserved for my family and my kids, and to have the Curls Club raise some money for good causes. It's, it's low-hanging fruit. It's amazing. Same question for you, Clint. You know, Saltwater Markets has been involved from the beginning. How important is that for you and for the local vendors here in our community? It's everything. It's, it's supporting an unbelievable resource for these communities. It's supporting our state's, you know, uh, produced product. It's families getting together, and I think a really great time to celebrate the fall and do great things with it. Last question for you, Clint. You mentioned seasoning. I see it over there. Uh, What's the secret seasoning that you guys use? All right, listen, for me, I'm an Old Bay man. (laughs) So uh, me and my shrimper fight about it all the time, but I'm an Old Bay man. At the end of the day, oh, listen, yeah, I'm not going to fight you because I'm an Old Bay man uh, as well. It's a phenomenal event, Kristen, that's happening uh, this weekend, Saturday, starting at 3, the 5th Annual Boil and Brew. Gentlemen, I'll drink to that. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> and again, the 5th Annual Boil and Brew, Kristen. Look at the size of these shrimp. They're unbelievable. And look, Jorge, we both have things that are making us happy today. That's so good. Thank you very, very much. We'll see you at the end of the show. <laughs>